Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Hello and happy Saturday. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I would like to do a spread right now about, it was a request, about where will the kids fit into this Netflix series, this reality series that they are filling for. Will the kids even be in it? So that is what this is about. And then I'm going to ask about, there was another request about Muhammad Al-Fayyad is apparently keeping up and maintaining uh, Wallace Simpson and Edward's apartment in Paris. I want to throw some cards down on that too. So I'm going to do some shuffling here and then I will cut and pull. Here we go. Where, where will the kids fit in, if at all? Where will the kids fit in, if at all? Where will the kids fit in, if at all? Where will the kids fit in, if at all, with the Netflix series? Where, where will they fit in, if at all? Will they fit in? Will they fit in? Will they fit in? Will they use them? Will we see them? Will we see them? Will they fit in? Will they use them? Will they be visible to the mass public? Will they be visible to the mass public? Here we go. Will they be visible to the mass public? We have the very first card here is the Hermit. The Hermit in the upright position. So they, this is something where they're going within and thinking about. Um, they're soul searching this, basically. So they're not even certain themselves. So they are. it's a thought. It's a thought. They're thinking about it. Uh, the challenge with the position, the challenge in, uh, in this thought process is a three of cups, three of cups in the reversed position. Uh, so that is creation expansion. They don't know if it would help them expand by involving the children. Um, and they're afraid of the gossip and not having any support with it. Uh, being in the reverse position, that people will not celebrate it and think it was a good idea and that it could actually hurt them. Probably based on all the things they said in the past about protecting their children, so they know this may not bode well. So they're, they're in deep contemplation about it. And that is a challenge because they really feel that this may not be celebrated. So let's get the next card. The next card is the motivation. The motivation with the using the children, if they did, would be Page of Pentacles. Go figure. <laughs> uh, that would be because the kids are, uh, it is a pentacle, it is energy, it also is a coin. They could make money on it. They could make money on the situation. Um, and it could bring new, more news and attention to them. Uh, and it would involve the media. People would be talking about them more. Uh, it would hit the new media new, you know, big time. Oh my God, there they are. Everyone take it, ch check it out, check it out. So they know that it'll draw a lot of attention, but they're fearful that this being a challenging position, that it's not going to bode well for many people. And they're, they're really fearful of being harshly criticized. Uh, they're really trying to watch every step they take now. They're being much more diligent in their steps that they take because they've done so many missteps. So this is something that they are deeply contemplating. They have not made a decision. Um, the distant past is the Seven of Swords, and that is in the upright position. So that is, they feel that in the distant past, they self-sabotaged themselves. They ghosted people. They were not cooperative. They had communication issues. They had, this is the trickster energy card. This is the veiling card, wearing a social mask and lying to people. And so they, they know that this is what their distant past is. This is what their distant um, uh, reputation has become, in essence. So the recent past, the recent past is the world in reverse. <laughs> Lack of accomplishment and public failure. Yeah, that is true. Very true. This New York trip got booed. Just so many complaints, so many complaints. You know, her stylist, uh, the argument with Harry, not, you know, the tabloid stories about Harry being alone, sitting, waiting, 24 hours, argument, no talking, being ghosted by his wife. It's just a big old crash and burn. They've just crashed and burned, and they know it. It's just been such a crash and burn. 
And then we have here for the future. What do they think for the future? Honestly, they're feeling the vibes that they are not going to ever be a nine of pentacles. There will never be fulfillment with them. And that they are going to be workaholics filled with envy and financial setbacks. That is what they think is going to happen to them. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are very desperate. They're, this is really a desperate situation here. They really got to toe the line. And they don't know. They just know that they can't do anything right. Let's just put it that way, which they can't. Okay. So the decision. The decision is going to be the Hierophant in reverse. With the Hierophant in reverse, that is being rebellious, shame, and immoral. They know everyone's decision that they are rebellious. They didn't go along with the royal. This is the Queen Elizabeth card. This is the Queen Elizabeth card, and they've been nothing but rebellious towards the family, shame, and immoral. They're a, they're a disgusting pair, and they know it. <laughs> God, tarot doesn't lie. Here we go. The feeling. The feeling of the situation. The feeling of the situation is King of Swords in the reverse position. So they do feel that nobody wants to listen to their intellect to shut up. Can you just shut up? You're immoral. You're shameful. You have, you have gone against the grain of everything. We don't believe you. You just shut up. Basically, people just want them to shut up. You are power mongers with zero integrity and no logic over your emotions. This here is logic over your emotions. The King of Swords upright, he's a very stern guy. He's all about trust, justice, and truth. He has got an intellectual authority. I'm sorry, but you guys do not have intellectual authority. Can you just shut your pie hole? Basically, that is what the public is saying. Be quiet. We don't, you are nothing but emotions over a logic. You're not logic over emotions. It's the other way around. You're all about trying to gain power and you have zero integrity and you're abusive with your words. Just be quiet. So nobody likes them. They're really coming to terms that nobody likes them. They know it. They know it. So this is why they're really struggling whether or not to involve the kids or not because that can either go really good to draw lots of attention and make money, but it can also go horribly wrong, horribly, horribly wrong to where it could be like just the total nail in the coffin. So they're very concerned. Uh, the next card here is the hopes and fears. Well, the hope is, the hope would be to manifest what they want and make their dreams come true and just basically be the creator of their, their, their life, just totally be in control and make all their dreams come true. But they know they're not in that position. They know they're in the liar card position. This is the liar. Uh, the, ma the, ma the magician in reverse is poor planning. It's manipulation. It's lying and it's untapped talent. And they know that everybody says they have no talent, which they don't. They have zero talent. They know they don't have talent. They know their planning is poor. Uh, they just throw spaghetti at the wall and see what sticks. They go from project to project to project. They don't fulfill anything. It's all manipulation for money. And so they know, they know that, that that's how they are. That's how it is. So they're hoping for this, but they know truly that this is the position they're in. So once again, tarot doesn't lie. Here we go. The outcome of the situation. The outcome of the situation is they're going to they're gonna attempt with the, with the Knight of Cups. Um, with the Knight of Cups, this is your dream lover. This is uh, someone who's going to come with their heart on their sleeve and be charming. So they're going to come in and try and be very charming. They're going to use charm and love bombing. Um, they're going to try and be like they're romantic with each other. They're going to try and act like, they're, like he's in love with her. They're very romantic. They have this dream life, this romance, just dream life of romance between the two of them. So that's how they're going to try and paint themselves. At least that's the intention uh, with, at least with Harry, uh, is to act like he's that dream lover. And she captured her dream lover and that he is madly in love with her. And so that's going to be the plot. That is the narrative he's going to put out there is I'm madly in love with Megan. I wonder if that will be his title, Madly in Love with Megan. So, yeah, and then he is that Prince Charming. He, they're going to paint him as Prince Charming, who is madly in love. It's pretty disgusting because we know the truth. And that's, that's really what they're going to attempt to do. So it doesn't look like they know for sure yet with the kids. 
and I, I thank for the request because that was a really great request. Uh, and the, the, what's circling this whole situation, what's shadowing, you know, h highlighting this whole thing is sun in reverse. They're not happy. Nothing's going well. There's no joy. The inner child isn't there. There's no growth. There's no seeding, true seeding of plans. And it's shining. They don't want the, the light to be shined on their problems. They want to keep it in the dark. And it's also feeling very let down. They're extremely let down that they have not succeeded. So that is the bottom of the deck. What is in the center of the deck? In the center of the deck, we have here the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Five of Pentacles in reverse is their, their um, let's see, the Five of Pentacles in the upright is, oh, wait, this one. Okay, pi, okay, this is the, all right, so this is where I have a problem with this new deck because I'm not sure which one's upright and which one's reverse. Okay, let me take a look at this. So the poverty and loss is this position, yes. Poverty and loss, yep. So this is the poverty and loss position and that was where it came up. So they suffer from poverty and loss. They know they're not going to get what they want. They know they should not draw attention to their weaknesses also. And so they're afraid they're going to be drawing attention to their weaknesses by doing this TV show, by doing this reality show. It will draw attention to their weaknesses, which is going to be a major issue to them subconsciously. They know they're a very weak couple, that Harry's truly not that knight of cups in love with her, and they, they know that they're not fulfilled here. So that's going to draw attention, that they're going to draw attention to the fact that the world's crashing down around them. They have not been successful. So they don't want this to be highlighted. They don't want people to see this weakness, that they really are suffering from poverty and loss. Uh, and there's no recovery, because in this position, it's recovery. It's more lit. It's more light. That's recovery. This is no recovery. So they don't want people to realize that they may never recover from leaving the royal family and that they're never going to be whole and complete, which is not boding well for the narcissist because they're all about winning. They're all about competition. They must come out on top. They must win and you must lose. And they don't want to look like the losers amongst the royal families. They don't want to look like they left and lost. They want to look like they left and were winning. So this is a big problem for them, a big risk for them to even do this show because it can highlight all their weaknesses. And so they've got all this to think about. It's really a dumb idea. It's a really dumb idea, but they're going to probably do it. <laughs> so let's get some more cards. Uh, let's find out why does Muhammad Al-Fayyad, uh, does he or why is it that he is keeping this apartment for keeping, keeping it tidy, paying the taxes, keeping it, uh, this apartment. This, maybe he just has this obsession with uh, the royal family, apparently. So why is Muhammad Al-Fayed keeping the Edward and Wallace Simpson apartment in Paris? Why is he keeping it? Well, we have here the, let me get my glasses. What I have here is the Knight of Swords in reverse. So this is someone who is feeling very hasty, full of hot air, um, cruelty. Um, he's not confronting injustice. Uh, he doesn't want any challenges because in this position, this is someone who's fearless, wants challenges, ready for battle. So he's not doing it to fight anybody. He's not doing it. It's it's it's. It's all talk, no action. Um, it's a return back. Maybe it's a return back to feel some sort of connection to a son, possibly. Um, it's not feeling ambition and just doing it. So it's a really bizarre card to come out this way. Um, and he's not confronting injustice. So maybe he feels it's a form of justice by keeping it. It's a justifiable thing to do. It's very bizarre mindset I don't get it but it's not it's not it's not a warrior energy it's the opposite of a warrior energy it's like it's like a wounded warrior in all honesty he's, he's like a wounded warrior trying to maintain this place um, the comp the challenge is the challenge is the um, the hermit 
And so that is, he's quest for knowledge and soul searching. So I guess he feels maybe it makes him somehow feel close and he's able to soul search while he's there and gain knowledge, gain access, access knowledge by having it for some reason. It makes him feel wise. He gets something from it or sense of wisdom that it was a smart decision to do it, to, to, to grab it, because he's, he's not going to battle, so he just felt it was a wise thing to do. Don't know why. We'll find out. We'll get digger deeper into this thing. We'll find out. It's, right now, it's not making a whole lot of sense to me. The motivation, okay, here we go. The motivation is three of cups in reverse. So with the three of cups in reverse is no support and the gossip. He likes people talking about him. So I would say it's negative fuel <laughs> because nobody's supporting it. He doesn't feel supported, so it's negative fuel. And he doesn't have the friendship and the celebration here. He doesn't have the creation expansion with anybody within the family. So this is a way for him to feel in control. It gives him a sense of control. Uh, I've got something of yours and people are talking about it. So it's negative fuel. It's negative fuel. He likes the negative fuel. Uh, so I would say he's kind of a narcissist that basically paints him as a narcissist in all honesty because he's getting off on the negative fuel uh, Let's see distant past Distant past is the page of Pentacles in the reverse position So page of Pentacles in the reverse position is a troublemaker problems with school unwelcome news lack of focus confusion of goals this very well could be the loss of, of his son uh, because it's in, it's in reverse. The, you know, he lost his son and it's a pentacle and it's in reverse. And uh, it became unwelcome news to lose his son. So this very well could be he lost his hardworking son who made money, who was make, had a good job, was in the news, um, he was polite, he was scholarly, his son was in the news, in the media. It's also another way to stay in the media and the news. Uh, so he likes staying in the media and news. He likes people talking about him also. And he did lose his son. So that is the distant past. He likes, he wants to maintain the story and keep the story alive, I think, is how I feel about it. Uh, the recent past is, he doesn't want people to forget his son. Uh, the recent past is Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pent yeah, so we have a lot of these knights. Like this is his son was chasing Princess Diana energy and all and all due respect here. Um, and his youth was stolen from him. Um, and then we have here with the Knight of Pentacles with the recent past, it's it's in the upright position. So with the Knight of Pentacles in the upright position, he feels that he can get some results coming in. Um, prag it's a pragmatic decision. A, fine, a good pragmatic financial decision. So that is why. And we have here for the future. Why is he doing it for the future? Because he has a hard time controlling his, his strength. He cannot control that inner strength. He cannot control his emotions within himself. And I think that's why he does it because it gives him a sense of control when he's in a really low place because he suffers from not having that control over himself. He cannot control and tame the self within. He's low energy and he has raw emotions. Having this apartment makes him feel linked and connected to his son, keep the story alive, negative fuel. He lost his son's energy. It is to keep the story alive and to stay connected to it and keep the keep the memory of his son alive by having people talk about why is he doing this. So that's what I'm getting from this. Uh, the decision, the decision why he's doing this is the Queen of Wands in the upright position. Princess Diana. Princess Diana. Nurturing, loves the spotlight. She liked the spotlight. She liked, she actually did like the cameras chasing her, you guys. She did call out the paparazzi, hey, I'm going to be here, come take my picture. That was the borderline personality disorder in her. She did manipulate that situation. I know we love her. She had a great heart. She had a big heart. But she did do some dark things, which was to put herself more in the, in the spotlight to irritate Charles, okay? That was part of her game. 
She did have limitless potential and she was very generous. But she also, when she was in reverse, she could be very melodramatic. She could be very temperamental. So he did this also to keep her memory alive also. It's to keep her memory alive. Um, we also have here, and to feel connected to her as well by having this apartment, by association. Uh, the feeling of the situation is king of cups in reverse. So this is, um, he feels that basically it was an abusive situation of what happened to him. It was a toxic situation. And in this upright position is spiritual energy, being guided spiritually. He's not feeling guided spiritually, but I think he's hoping to get that feeling, but he's not able to actually feel it. It's, he actually gets a toxic feeling instead, and that is the feeling. It's actually not doing a whole lot for him. It's just giving him a lot of negative fuel. Uh, the hopes and fears. The hopes in the situation is to feel the Ten of Pentacles, to feel, you know, to feel that this, there, this closure is is wealth, abundance, and legacy. To keep the legacy of his son alive, Diana alive, feel connected, all of that. So it goes back to the same thing. The hope was to keep that legacy. This is the legacy card. He wants to keep his son's legacy alive. And he wants to be connected to it because it, it raises his ego. I think he's kind of a narcissist. Uh, the outcome of the situation is seven of cups in the... Seven of Cups. Okay, which one is upright or reverse? Seven of Cups. Uh, realism and choices. It's also gaslighting. Uh, illusion ends and clarity. The game is up. So the game is up for his son. The game was up for Diana. Um, there were no ch more choices for them. And so by doing this, it gives him a feeling of clarity because he knows the game is over. Regardless if it's upright or reverse, there's no more choices here. The, the cups have been drained out. Um, and I got it in the more lighthearted situation here. So they, he wants to feel like he has choices too. They had more life to live. They had life to live. They had lots of choices but it was robbed from them. It was robbed from them. So it's a way to make them feel like they're still around him. Um, he's hoping to get that spiritual connection energy um, that I got from this one, but he's not able to feel it. So I think he really felt that he can somehow feel connected, you know, um, and he's just, he can't feel it. It's, it's game up. It was game up. And he doesn't want the game to be up. He doesn't want the illusion to end. So he wants to keep the illusion alive is really what that is saying. Keep the illusion. The whole thing is about keeping the illusion alive, sadly. He can't, he can't let go. He's not letting go. And under the surface here, which is highlighting the whole situation, is the three of pentacles. So with the threes, threes is about creation and expansion. So he knows it's going to be good for his bank account because it's an extra property that you can, you can sell and, and make a turnover and profit off of. Um, and it is basically, um, it's skill, it's mastery, and it's work, and it is making money. He is, he is a master at making money and creating and expanding. Uh, he's a wealthy man. He knows how to turn a buck. And it is about profit and gain as well is how this is playing out. Uh, in the center of the deck, why does he have this apartment? We have here because he has never healed from the situation. He's never healed from the death of the son. And that's what that is saying with the four of swords. Uh, the four of swords also can represent um, a coffin. A four of swords also represents um, not wanting to be seen. Um, ruined reputation um, and healing and he's in the position where he has not healed this is in the healing position he's not in the healing position he's still never healed so this is a way for him to get some kind of comfort uh, he's still a wounded man he's a he's a very wounded man is what that is saying 
Yep, so I think I've re reached my time limit on my 24 minutes now. So I'm going to let you go. I hope you enjoy this. Have a great Saturday evening, and thanks for watching, you guys. Till next time, like and subscribe. Bye.